We have a horizontal force of magnitude 35 newtons pushed on a mass of 4 kilograms across the floor with a coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.6. What's the increase in kinetic energy of the block when the block size is displaced into 5 meters across the floor? What I hear when I, see, when I, uh, when I read this, and these are the key points that you want to start noticing, it, sa it says, what is the increase in kinetic energy? That's what we're looking for, kinetic energy. Okay, so what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. That's the equation for it. But then... So, so therefore, I'm, I, I have mass. I want to solve for velocity when we're dealing with forces. That sounds kind of difficult. But then it gives us a displacement. Gives us a displacement of five meters. Where did that come from? Why do I want to deal with that? Now, it could be because I could do kinematics. V, D, V naught, acceleration, acceleration. I can deal with because I got force and I also have mass. But what you want to think of is you want to think you have a block on the floor of four kilograms. It gives us the displacement of five meters, right? Yeah, five meters. Okay. And we are dealing with forces, okay? What do I think of? I think of work. Work is force time distance. Work is also the change in energy. And because it is horizontal, that means there, we are not dealing with potential energy, we are only dealing with one kind of energy, and that is kinetic energy. <coughs> so therefore, if I find the work done, I quickly find that how much kinetic energy has changed. Because all of a sudden this becomes, because is delta K plus delta U for potential, this doesn't exist or doesn't change, it's just delta K. So if I find force times distance, I win. Okay, so now that we know what we're looking for, let's do it. Now, but the force that we're dealing with for, for work, work is force times distance, but really is F net times distance, right? want the F net. So that means we're going to have to see we're given a certain force and we're given friction. <coughs> we're given enough information that we can find friction. Right? So it's 35 newtons of a push. Technically I should write over here, but I'm not going to rewrite that. Whatever. Uh, then we have force of friction going against it. Force of friction is the normal force times mu. And in this case, they give it to us. They give us mu k is 0.6. Sweet. Mu k is 0.6. We know the mass. We know the mass. Therefore, we know mg is equal to 4 times 9.8, <coughs> which is equal to something. 39.3 cool whatever it's fine uh, so wait what oh yeah, yeah then we have to multiply this by mu k uh, <laughs> don't worry <laughs> I do know what I'm doing um, so then we multiply that by mu k to get the frictional force and that will be I do know that uh, is equal to 23.52, <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. So now we know this force, and we know, hey, this is representatively, this is smaller, so F net is going to be 35 minus 23.52. Wow. Which is equal to 11.48 times, and then we multiply that by 5 to get 57, work is 57.4 joules, which is then equal to the delta K. Okay. 